Alright, welcome guys. As we are here for race five of the Doritos Cool Ranch truck series. You thought I wouldn't be back, but I'm back to do this wonderful truck series. We have Ken Johnson on the pole. Um did he win last week's race? Yeah, I, I believe Ken Johnson won yeah, yeah, Ken Johnson won last week's race and he's on the pole. Next to Sean Henley and Connor Breton in the new paint scheme after he finished um uh he didn't finish dead last but he finished he finished close to it a lap down. It's here we go. Green flag is out and um we got Ken Johnson leading it, followed by Connor Breton in second. Look at Pichu London. He has a good truck today. Oh, and they're bumping and banging right there. Oh, you got you got Sean Hemley coming out the turn. Oh, Connor Breton slides up in front of him. Here comes Johnny Gardner. Johnny Gardner on the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, oh, Connor Breton slips up the racetrack. And we got caution out for some reason. And there goes Andre Castro. He's having a nice run so far today. As we have caution out, we have caution out. Uh, oh, Justin Acosta. He has not been having the season we thought he would have in that KHI truck. He got spun. Oh, man, we had a big accident back here. Oh, oh, Colin Cropley got into Dylan Poteet. And those two don't even like each other right now. And th there goes the two truck of um Justin Acosta spinning out and... He's going to get into the wall. But Tim Freilich was involved as well. Ah, oh, man. Tim Freilich cannot catch a break. Oh, and the 18 truck of Derek Beiser back was involved. And Trent, uh, Trent Dunham's brother, Zohar, was involved. Justin Acosta was involved. There's Colin Crawford. He was... And, and um, Dylan Poteet in the new paint scheme, the Wild Turkey Ford. And there goes, and there goes Colin. I mean, Colin Crubley didn't even let up off the throttle right there. He he actually got into um, Dylan Poteet twice. He got into Dylan Poteet right there in the corner, and then he just stood on Dylan Poteet. These two don't like each other, and this and this is what happens. And Colin Crubley spins out Dylan Poteet. There goes Justin Acosta and ruins both of their days so far today. And there goes Tim Fraley getting a piece of it. Justin Acosta. Um, who else? Uh, yeah, Zohar was involved as well. And one more truck is Dylan Poteet. So. And then you see all four of them were in a line together. And then and then Tim Fraley. Uh, so about five trucks were involved. Zohar, Tim Freilich, Connor Breton, um, I mean, not Connor Breton, Dylan Poti, Colin Cropley, Justin Acosta, and Zohar, so, here it goes again, there you see Colin Cropley just getting in, into him right there, and then just starting this spinning, everybody out, just uncalled for, man, Tim Freilich, and then Ken Johnson will lead him. As we are under caution right now, so um, yeah. Mm. Did anybody come to pit road? I don't think so. Not they're not gonna come to pit road right now. It's too early in the race. Mm -hmm. There goes Ken Johnson, but look at Pichu London right there. Pichu London has a great truck today, and he is trying to show it. As Connor Breton's getting pushed right now by by that 17. By that 17 truck of Lisa Shears and, and Lisa Shears will get under Connor Breton and take the third spot away from him. And I think it was the caution out. Uh, no, it's not. And, uh, oh, we got trouble back there, though. Somebody, oh, no. Justin Acosta involved again. Dylan Poti. Uh, Bob Fergus involved in another wreck. 
Oh man, Dougie Shears, uh, Jack Richards was involved. What happened? Dakota Erickson was in. He was in about right, coming to the line. He was in 14th. Oh, Dougie Shears just. Dougie, Dougie Shears just came down on him, and he got into Dougie Shears, and then it. They're gonna come back and Dougie Shears is gonna get into him again. Oh, and look at Red Bell. Oh, and Bob Fergus was involved. Yeah. Hey Mark. What's up? Watch well, the ride that this Red Bell takes. Man, she just flipped over barrel rolling ridiculously and now Dougie Shears is a part of it as well <laughs> looks like he comes down on Dakota Erickson and then there it goes and Red Bell hits the wall very hard Colin Crappie looked like he was a part of it as well Bob Fergus. Bob Fergus. Oh my God! Takes it hard into, and then the two car goes up in the wall. Justin Acosta and Dylan Poteet, and then Dirty Truck again. We'll take a look at that one last time. See Dougie Shears comes down on him, and. Dakota Erickson had no choice but to keep in the throttle and Red Bell is the worst gets the worst of that and then Bob Fergus as well big damage to that 7 green flag again mm -hmm. Ken Johnson out in front and here comes Theo Siegel in that 8 truck on the bottom of the racetrack but Lisa Shears comes out out of the corner and gets a good run down the back stretch let's see what she could to do to Ken Johnson and there's Pichu London just having a career day right now in that 23 Johnny Gardner coming in that RCR Chevrolet and there's Theo Siegel right there and there's Connor Breeton having a nice day Chris Summers as well Ryan Acosta not getting into anybody today which is nice and there's Andre Castro he's falling back a little bit and there's Derek Beiser back he has a lot of damage to that truck Nas Machine, and there's Zohar, Tim Fralick, Jack Richards, and Dougie Shears. Oh, we got a battle for the lead. Here goes Lisa Shears up there. Lisa Shears will take the lead, followed by Theo Siegel as they finally get around that. <laughs> As they finally get around Ken Johnson, but Ken Johnson gonna come right back on the bottom of the racetrack into the travel to the line. The Lisa Shears will still have the lead. And Ken Johnson will get it right back from her. Oh, and that's three wide for like third back here we may see pitch stops it depends on if these guys have enough fuel but um there's Chris Summers going three wide look at Chris Summers it's ridiculous move to get up there and he's already won a race this season 
we'll see what he could do as he comes up on his RCR um, RCR not teammate but a guy they take information from at least it should just get the power move off the top of the racetrack as here comes Chris Summers with take second spot and Chris Summers looking for his second win of the season as he got Pichu London uh, Alicia Shears up there Steel Steel Zohar Manu uh, Colin Cropley back there and there, there's Chris Summers he is gaining here comes Danny Wells he's already had a win this, se win this season here comes Chris Summers, he's gaining. That's Colin Cropley. Oh, Colin Cropley and Dylan Pote get together again. Dylan Pote is coming back at Colin Cropley for spinning him out early in the race. As we got a little bit of a rivalry here between Dylan Pote and Colin Cropley. As Dylan Pote in that wild turkey three truck going to try to go on the bottom clean under Colin. As Chris Summers will take the lead on lap 19. And he is trying his best to get his second win Chris Summers started in about outside the top 10 and he will try to win this race as here comes P2 London and Lisa Shears fighting over third spot and there's Sean Henley look at Tom Haunters another good run for that guy as here comes Red Fox Red Fox is having a decent race in her new paint scheme. Um, one main, main something, I forgot the sponsor. And there goes uh, Andre Castro having a decent run like he needs to. Oh, what the? The heck happened to uh, Trent Dunham? Is he falling out of, is he out of gas? Anyway, we're on the final lap, and here comes Chris Summers. Chris Summers will get the win over Ken Johnson. What a finish. Ken Johnson came strong at the end, and then, and then and Chris Summers gets the win, his second win of the season. And here's everybody else. Here it is right here. Chris Summers, nice race for Lisa Shears, Danny Wells, Pichu London, and all those guys. Nice race for them. And the cars that did not finish, Red Bell and Bob Fergus. Nice race for most guys, and congrats to Chris Summers on a nice race, on a nice win. We will see you next week at, um, I forget. <laughs>